Okay, so this is the second biopsychology flip session, and it's the endocrine system. This is a relatively simple section again, um, especially compared to some of the later sections. This is how it's going to look, uh, our selection of notes at the end of the video. So when we talk about the endocrine system, what we're talking about is a range of glands that are located across the body. A gland is an organ which releases hormones. Uh, we need to know a couple of them, um, some hormones that they release and the hormones affect on the body. Um, so hormones are messengers. Um, they travel across the body in the bloodstream. Um, and even though they're much slower than the nervous system we looked at in the previous video, uh, they can have stronger and certainly longer lasting effects on various areas of the body. Um, we'll start by talking about the pituitary glands um, and a hormone it releases. Um, but if we're looking at an area of the brain which is going to kick this into gear, the hypothalamus is the area of the brain which controls the pituitary. And then that is going to um, kind of cascade across the body with other hormones. Uh, so pituitary gland is known as the master gland. Um, so generally it has control over many of the other glands in the body. And it controls the release um, of ACH, ACTH. Uh, and this is a part of the stress response. The next gland we'll talk about is the thyroid gland. Uh, and you can see its location there on the diagram. Uh, and it releases thyroxine. Um, so this is a multiple use uh, hormone. It will in the short term increase heart rate, uh, but also in the longer term it will affect your growth rate. Uh, the pancreas um, main role among others is the release of insulin. This is a uh, hormone you've probably heard about, especially if you know anybody uh, or suffer yourself with diabetes. Um, and insulin, the release of it will lower your blood glucose levels. Uh, the adrenal gland. Now, if in an exam you're asked to name a hormone and its effect, I would certainly talk about the adrenal gland uh, and the release of adrenaline and noradrenaline. Um, this is because it will link on to what we'll learn in the fight or flight response, and then you can uh, you can show that you can be give a lot of depth for this. Uh, so the adrenal gland, as I said, releases adrenaline and noradrenaline. Um, and this will have a range of physical and mental changes that we're going to go into some detail about. And this is vital for the, uh, the fight or flight response or just generally uh, when you're um, aroused in some way or you know, excited in some, in some way. Um, and the last section uh, we'll talk about is the testes and ovaries. So these are the sex glands. Um, they produce testosterone and estrogen and they have a range of um, developmental effects across the rest of the body um, with sex changes. Um, testosterone uh, we're going to link to later on in the aggression module and we'll talk about uh, its effect in males um, and aggression. Okay so that's the second section of the mind map complete. Um, to be ready for the class, I want a, a full set of notes from this. It can either be on the mind map or it can be on your own, own A4, but I want it uh, completed. Um, I also want you to be kind of familiar drawing the outline of a body and generally labeling up where the different glands appear um, and the hormone that they release and its effect on the body. Um, so if you can be ready for a quiz when you first come in, that would be great.